Ready? Do we have, is there intro music? Just kidding. <laughs> we do have background music. You do, that's what I mean. Is there like, when this comes in, is there like uh, rapid fire music that you have? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Today, <coughs> I've already, with I've already <laughs> run our interview amok. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a good one. Hey, I'm Danielle Hinsley, and as you can see, I am joined by none other than Dave Alpern, none other, I appreciate resident that. of Joe Gibbs Racing. How are you doing? I'm doing good. That's really, I'm, I'm really a glorified gopher with a good title, but I appreciate that. It's good I don't to think be that's here. what it is. Good to be here today. <laughs> thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for yeah. joining us here in your office. Mm. Got a pretty nice setup here, but it hasn't always been this nice. When you started at Joe Gibbs Racing, Back in the day, at the beginning of the ago. company, yes. I've heard you started out in a broom closet, and you've done basically every job here. It was legitimately a broom closet. So when I started at our first shop, um, they didn't have anywhere to put me. So they emptied out an actual closet, and we only had room for like an elementary school desk and a little plastic chair. Um, this was pre-internet, and so mm -hmm. I didn't have a computer. So we had a lamp and a phone with nobody to call. Um, and there are no electrical outlets in a closet, so we had to run right. an extension cord for those. So I had a spiral notebook and that little desk, and just kind of started and made it up from there. You've had a few pretty cool experiences since working at Joe Gibbs Racing, two of which included White House visits. So you've not only been once, but you've been twice. You I have did. to tell me, I'm jealous. Okay, so when you win the championship, you get to go to the White House. The first two I wasn't invited, wasn't quite Mm. high enough up the rankings at those points. But um, in 2005, Tony's second championship was our first visit and we got to visit uh, uh, George W. Bush. And then with Kyle's championship, we got to visit uh, President Obama. They were amazing. And so I grew up in DC. So I'd driven by the White House a hundred times as a kid. So to get to go visit it, um, they were honestly two of the most memorable things I've ever done in my life. I'd say two quick things that stood out when we went to visit President Bush you know, you're waiting in line to meet him, and I was thinking to myself, what do I say to him, what do yeah. I say to him? And my father had been, had worked with the CIA when okay. George Bush was with the CIA, so my opening line was gonna be, hey, my father worked with you at the CIA. But when I got really close to him, I noticed that his suit on the pinstripes, they said George W. Bush, George W. Bush, George W. Bush on his pinstripes, and when I got up close to him, I went, that is awesome. And his response was, it's good to be the president. That was kind of what he said to me. So it was like his suit that I was fascinated with. And then I told him about my dad and he said, hey, thank you for his service. So um, that was cool. And then the neat thing when we met um, President Obama, we actually got to go inside. I didn't go inside with President Bush, but we got wow. to go in the um, press briefing room and walk through the whole inside of the White House. And um, he actually announced my name. So when he announced our team, he said, President Dave Alpern. So to hear a standing U.S. president say my name mm -hmm. at the White House, I was like, okay, this is pretty awesome. For I mean, a, for a t-shirt guy from a broom closet, it was pretty cool. Come on, that's like a yeah. bucket list moment. It was pretty moment. cool, I'm not gonna lie. I've heard you're a pretty good football player and you have a giant oh, yeah. trophy to prove yeah. it. We do, yeah, we do have the trophy, yeah. You gotta tell me. Clearly, not an offensive lineman. Um, <laughs> so actually, football's always been my favorite sport and in high school, I was, pretty much my current size, which is code for not a great football player. Um, I would have gotten killed. Um, but when we became adults, mm -hmm. fortunately flag football rewards people that are skinny and fast like me. So okay. there was a NASCAR league and uh, Joe Gibbs Racing entered a team. This was 10 to 15 years ago, mind you, but we did win back-to-back -back championships. Our quarterback was J.D. Gibbs. Mm -hmm. I might have been his leading receiver, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> But uh, the trophy there actually is from our 10 and 0. We went undefeated 10 and 0. Wow. And um, I got to keep the trophy. But that was fun. It was, I will say those were our glory days, but we were, play, we were playing against of other, a bunch of other old NASCAR guys. So we weren't exactly you know, playing against D1 guys, but it was a lot of fun. Come on, you're being too humble. It I was heard a lot of fun. you caught the winning pass. Well, I, when we won the championship, I might have caught, caught the might winning have. pass in the championship. But it was, it's just a game, just keeping track. <laughs> That um, trophy. Okay. That's true. That's why the trophy's still in here 12 years later. It's, I think it's the only thing I've ever won athletically, so I was pretty proud of it. What is your favorite book? Without sounding cliche, I would say there's only one book that I read every day of my life, which would be the Bible. So yeah. I would say it would be the Bible because I do read it every morning. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, for the record, if that's if that's one of the choices, you, it's like anything else is the wrong answer. Right. But, but it, truthfully, I would say that would be my favorite one, partly because, again, I don't, um, 
Yeah, I read it every day. So yeah. any book, no matter how much I love it, I'm probably not going back to it every day. Other than I that think one. that's so, a great answer. That would be it. All right, this next one, it's one of my favorite questions to ask. Okay. So tell me, if you, there was a time machine, would you go into the future or in the past and why? Oh, into the future for sure. Like, I don't really? know. Oh, yeah, because... Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of cool places I'd love to visit in the past, but I can read about those. There's nothing you can read about even tomorrow. Um, forget the business ramifications of mm -hmm. how much of how you could, you know, <laughs> know what's about to come, and yep. you know, kind of like when um, when Biff found the sport, the the sports almanac in Back <laughs> to the Future. Sorry, that's a movie from my era, and he came back and bet on all the games. Not that I would mm -hmm. do that, but no, gosh, it would be amazing to go in the future and just kind of see. And and for me, just to see you know, how certain things turn out and to ease my mind about things that you're anxious about. It'd be neat to go into the future, you know, five years, 10 years, mm. 50 years, and then, you know, are we here a thousand years from now? I don't know, but yeah. definitely the future, for sure. Yeah. Okay. I, there's enough movies I can go to the past. I wanna go, I wanna go to the future. You have a good argument. Yeah. That's so, a good point. There you go. All right, we're gonna end yeah. on a racing note. What is your favorite race to attend? Um, you know, I do get asked that a lot, and I would say, my criteria, I'd say all in all, it's Daytona. The yeah. Daytona 500, for a number of reasons. Number one, it's the start of the season. Um, I just love, there's tradition and I've been, I've never missed one in, you know, 27 years. Um, wow. Every year of the Daytona 500, my whole family has come with me. So I have, actually have a picture over my desk that has me and my sons from the same spot every year of their life at the Daytona 500. Wow. So the Daytona 500, for sure, all around is my favorite. Thank you right. so much oh, for joining me today. Thank, thanks for having me. This has been an awesome interview. Must have been interview. short on guests this week to have me, but no. I appreciate that. Um, anyway. This was a good All one. Right. Thank you so much. All right, you're welcome. JGR fans, we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.